All right, hey, shalom, my kiam. First and foremost, let me give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadash, the balance to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Sumo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushing his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters, and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the, one that, of the one who the world ignorantly called God, who the world ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he to be or he is. Bahashem means in the name and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of modern day Babylon, a.k.a. America. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, and the water. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The water, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for the apostles. And elders of Great Millstone. And the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for all you beloved brethren out there, pushing this knowledge in sincerity and truth. And the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for giving me, this, giving me this opportunity to teach his word in sincerity and truth. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. And um, yesterday I was online <clears throat> on TikTok and ran to this, uh, this, somebody had this video up with this picture in the background, man. You know, it could be AI, but it looked like one of those old vintage pictures, man. You know, one of them old vintage pictures. And I went on Pinterest to try to find it, but it kept running to a lot of uh, samurai pictures that look just like this. Now, according to the scriptures, you know, we have been scattered throughout the folk. Oh, well, yeah, I actually added to, to my page with a little music to it. flavor to it yeah man so we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth man you know throughout asia now you go into the word asia you know it links up with um yeah i'm, I'm gonna go, go right into it so according to prophecy the israelites you know will be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth now during the time of the um disciples became apostles they was dealing with the whole situations shit situation dealing with the uh the jews and the Gentiles, okay, who were the same people that was living in that time frame under the Roman Empire, um, the Gentiles, um, or Israelite foreigners who got Hellenized under the Greek Empire all the way over to the Roman Empire that took over. It was a great scattering that happened happened from the Assyrian captivity, or the, the Assyrian to the Babylonian captivity, all right? The Persian, the Medes, the Greeks. That was that was that was the main Hellenization under the uh, under the uh, the Greeks and the Romans. So when the apostles um, came on the scene, they had to deal with this issue. And the main one that had to deal with this was our uh, Apostle Paul. So th those same seeds are still scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So the main focal point of this lesson of of the Israelites who have been scattered throughout Asia, who, who whose bloodline links up with Abraham. Isaac and Jacob. So this is First Peter chapter one verse one. It says Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai. Um, his real name, the Hebrew, is not. His real name, the Hebrew, is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus the Christ. Okay, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through sanctification of the spirit. That's the only way you're going to receive this. This truth if you've been sanctified to the full knowledge of the Most High. All right? Unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of HaMashiach Yahweh Shai. Wait till this truck go by. It says, Grace unto you and peace be multiplied means favor has been shown 
to these selected souls, man, elected souls to receive this truth. And us men out here that's teaching this word, the Most High is giving us this unction to bring out the information the correct way, the 100% truth. It said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which according to his abundant mercy, so that we have received abundant mercy to receive this truth and teach it the right way, had begotten us again, had begotten us again because it had to been a falling away first. We fell away from our heritage, our customs, our language, got put in the captivity, captivities, and got scattered, man. So you have Israelites looking like the Chinese, the Japanese, East Indians, the so-called white race. You understand what I'm saying? But let the spirit bear witness. Your bloodline has to go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You can't fake this thing because Israel is the soul of the earth. All right? had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible. The inheritance we about to receive shall be incorruptible, man. This is a corruptible evil empire we're living in. An undefiled and that's faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Faded, that's Yahweh Shai's kingdom, shall be an everlasting kingdom. And that heaven represents a new rulership upon this on, um, upon this planet Earth. Who are kept by the power of God through faith, through faith, unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. So all this stuff is being revealed now. So I won't go back to that picture, man. This picture got me blown away. I had to put some music to it. All praise y'all by Shimei was shy. So going into this whole um hold on, oh man, I, I almost forgot. Going let's go into that word Asia right right quick. Because it's dealing with the Israelites who have been scattered throughout Asia. Alright, Israelite foreigners. So it says Asia right there. It says the Orient. Alright, it says Asia proper or pro counselor. Asia embracing Mysia, Lydia, Phrygia, and Korea. So it sounds like Korea, right? Karaya, corresponding closely to Turkey today. So let's look up the word Orient real quick, okay? Let's get, let's get into that word Orient real quick. Right? It says, where is the Orient? I looked it up. It says, originally the term Orient was used to designate only the near or east, but but later is, is meaning evolve and expanded. Designated designated also Central Asia, Southwest Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, or Far East. All right. So it says which country is referred to the Orient? Right there, the countries within the Orient include nations in primarily Eastern Asia, including China, Tibet, Japan. North Korea, South Korea, Mongolia, and Taiwan. So you got Israelites who are scattered throughout that region, man. Because the Israelites are the majority, man. You have, you know, you have the, uh, the, oh man, this guy pulling up. Hey. Right when you're doing the video, another trucker just came, pull up, I had to close my window. So, all right. So what I was saying, you got Israelites who have been scattered throughout those, 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 those areas, man. And um, I lost my train of thought, man. <laughs> so lucky, man. So yeah, man, let's, let's, let's check out this article real quick. What I found online. You can uh, look this up on Pinterest. You know, it's called Shinog, the Israelite origin of Chinese herbalism and culture. Okay. The Chinese herbalism, herbalism and culture. All right, hold on for a second. Right, so here's the article. It says, Shinog, those are statues, the Israelite origin of Chinese herbalism and culture. So somebody that know they're, they're, that they're an Israelite put this together. So in this article, I would like to introduce you to a God, an ancient ruler of Chinese legend. You know, we, we are gods, but he, but he shall die like men. It's just Shinog is a very important person in Chinese history, also to Hebrew Israelite history. 
I will attempt to demonstrate the relationship between the ancient Chinese and Hebrew Israelites throughout the presentation of correlation historical and biblical facts for both those who are familiar and yet to become acquainted with the legendary Shinog you are sure to learn something new and interesting things in this blog I will first provide some background about Shinog and then demonstrate its connection to the Bantu peoples of Africa that's heavy man because you know we fled to the west coast of Africa, man, from the Roman persecution, and not only we fled there, our people fled, you know, to, to Asia, Europe, you know, different places like that, who have already been identified as bloodline descendants of the place of the place Hebrew Israelites. So, you know, you could check that out, but there's an actual picture of the guy, all right. So it says, uh, in order to familiarize ourselves with who Shinog is, let's read and examine a few quotes from different sources. After reading these excerpts, it will be clear to see how important the man Shinog was in establishing Chinese culture, diet, and traditional medicine. He is also credited with establishing the original Chinese monetary system as well as the introduction of different tools to the Chinese. All right. The first source quote comes from article by Dr. Excuse me. Shubhuti Dharmanada of the Institute for the Traditional Medicine. All right. It says, Shinog, the divine farmer, is the legendary originator of Chinese herbal medicine, it is believed that the first known, I'm sorry, it is believed that he was first known as Yan Dai, Emperor of Fire, which is why he eventually became known by the full title Yan Dai Shen Nung Gishi. So you have these, you know, statues, these black face statues, you know, it's saying nothing new. You got them in Europe as well. So they, they show you, you know, it links up with the different statues you see, the black heads, the coat of arms in Europe. All right? So it's a notice of similarities. Those are the people, man, who have been scattered. All right? So I don't want to, uh, you know, um, read too much. You can actually look this article up yourself on Pinterest. Give you an idea that we are those people, man. And they only fall to have this information out there because the end is here. And he's gathering the elect. All right. So he's dealing with the herbs, the medicine, all that good stuff. Different dynasties that, that, that was around, that was formulated. All right. It also goes into the uh, martial arts. Okay. Dealing with the plow. Okay. Teaching the planting of various grains, medicinal herbs. All right. Invention of, of a simple loom. Invention of the bow and arrows. Okay. Invention of commerce. Different weapons over here. All right, weapons, I mean plural. What else, what else? Invention of the pottery art. Um, this is an instrument that you see in a lot of Chinese movies, man. Actual musical instrument. All right, I look like a Jake right there. All right. Still being used. What else, what else they had? Dealing with the, those herbal teas. I'm big into teas. All right. There's another picture of him. Different statues. It says, Shinog advanced the culture and civilization of China in the same way that the Haisus, those are Israelites, the Haisus Egyptians, 
and Phoenicians, both with the dominant Israelite elements. Among them have advanced Greek civilization in the ancient time. Come on, man. That gives it away, but I want to... Here's a part talking about the martial arts. Fucking love that stuff, man. Excuse my language. I think I'm going to have to pause it. The calendar system. All right. Goes into the calendar, Chinese calendar system. All right. Because our, our calendar system is based upon... Uh, the moon, right? This uh, celestial bodies. Well, let me uh, let me pause it real quick. Well, brothers, I can't really find that part about the martial arts, but yeah, if you want to look up this article yourself, you can check it out. But it's another thing that is uh, mentioned here. He has biblical um, evidence dealing with the land of Sinem. That was the next um, precept I was going to pull, but it's right here. It's right here in this article. Isaiah 49 and 12. So let's go to it real quick. Because I want to get into another aspect of Israel being over there in, in Asia. All right. I'm sorry. It was 49 and 12. Yep. So the subheading, it says salvation reaches to the end of the earth. Why? Because we have Israelites who have been scattered throughout the end of the end, ends of the earth. It says, listen. O isles unto me and hearken he people from far from far the Lord had called me from the womb from the bowels of my mother had he made mention of my name and made my mouth like a sharp sword and the shadow of his hand had he hid me and made me a polished shaft in his quiver had he hid me then with us the men of the Lord were weapons unto the most high and he said to me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. So we're going to jump down. All right. To where. I'm going to go straight to it, man. I don't want to waste too much time. We'll go, verse, go to verse. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to read this part. Read, I'm, going to, I'm going to start at verse 8. It said, Thus saith the Lord. In an acceptable time I have heard thee, in a day of salvation have I helped thee, I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, the cause to inherit the desolate heritage. Desolate heritage, man. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness, meaning in ignorance, show thyself, they shall feed in the ways, dealing with this truth, and their pastures shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that had mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. This is, you know, the Holy Spirit, through Yahweh Bashim Shai, with this truth coming out on the world wide web. That's the springs of water. Okay? We are no longer in darkness. The Most High is reviving us. I will make all my mountains away and my highway shall be exalted. All right. The Most High is bringing us back on to be his people. We are being restored. Behold, these shall come from far and lo, these from the north and from the west and these from the land of Sinem. So it's going to the word Sinem there. Okay. Now this, you know, this was brought to me. Our beloved brother years ago, he knows, you know, bringing this stuff back out for the hopeful elect. Right here it is. All right, people living at the extremity of the known world may be identified with the inhabitants of southern China. Okay? Now, jumping down, a distant oriental region. A distant oriental region. Let's go back to this article. Look, it's right there in the article. All right, right here in the article, brothers, it says the context required that this must be a very remote country to be sought for either in the eastern or southern extremities of the world. Understand it to be the land of Ceres or Chinese. This very ancient and celebrated. There's a book on it, man. Let me just stop right there. Celebrated. Well, it doesn't really 
Well, yeah, it gives, it gives man, it's a bad article, man. It says, Sir Robert, Robert Hart, the author identifying China as Sinem, was a Masonic Knight of the Grand Cross Order of St. Michael and St. George. It means that the high-level Masonic initiates are aware of the biblical history. Right there, man. The historical record of the Holy Bible state that the lost sheep of Israelites, the most the Mosai God's people, may be scattered into all kingdoms, even specifically states that they will one day return to Israel back from Sinem, which is China. China. <laughs> all right, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you're dealing with different dynasties we were part of. This is a pretty good article. We brothers want to, you know, continue with it. Then I'm going to show you something else real quick. The Black Shogun of Japan. Brought this out before, man, but it all links up, you know. All right. The world of Sakanaoi, no Tamaramaro, Black Shogun of Japan. So that's where the whole samurai culture came from. For a samurai to be brave, he must have a bit of black blood. First time heard this information from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone when we bring it back to my little picture right here. This is all in the spirit. So yeah, there's a lot of AI stuff going on, or this might be real or AI, but it's for a reason, because we dwelt in those lands. We still have seeds over there in that land. Okay? So the true warriors on, the, on this planet are Israelites. Man, I got to play that little song again for you. Exciting times, man. So, so we're going to jump right into it. You know, you can read this article yourself. I'm going to go straight to the point. Pull all this stuff online, man. You know what I'm saying? And the, the first source you need, all right, is um the scriptures, man. The, the true understanding of the scriptures. So I'm going to jump to this paragraph right here. It says, as we can, can cross the whole of Asia and find Negro again, for when, in far off Japan, the ancestors of the modern Japanese were making their way northward against the Anu. So information came out that the Anu links up with the outcasts of Israel. And the brothers were saying that it links up with the tribe of Gad. To the Aborigines, because you you're dealing with the Assyrian captivity as well. The northern kingdom was taken down by the Assyrian captivity. He said the Aborigines of that country, the leader... Of the armies was Sakanai Tamu Ra Maro, a famous general and a Negro. Dr. W. E. Du Bois, perhaps the greatest scholar in American history, in his book, The Negro, um, first published in 1915, placed Sakanai Tamarau within a list of some of the most distinguished black rulers and warriors in antiquity. Right? Right in your face, man. Don't mind all this stuff popping up. You know, that's Satan. So, hey, man. So I'm going to read. What is that? Uh, First Peter again. Let me close out. Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Elect. The elect is all about the elect. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father through, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkle of the blood of Yahweh Shai, grace, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Shalom.